I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how is math factoring used in real life. Now, it's one of the more commonly asked questions in math courses, and an understandable one at that. But one thing that you want to consider is, when it comes to factoring, the important thing is to be able to recognize the different patterns that are available. You're factoring a lot of numbers and a lot of variables, and the important thing is you want to see what kind of patterns there are, so as you can be able to see and do them a lot faster. Now, how that translates to real life is, when you look at the various situations, you can see if there's various patterns going on. Kind of like what you're doing in factoring. You get to see you know, numbers and variables and see what the relationship between two or more parentheses is. And when it comes to real life situations, you want to try to establish links and relationships as much as possible so you know how to deal with them. Now, along with that, once you understand what the patterns are, you tend to develop certain habits of thought. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to take what seems to be difficult situations and turn them into easy ones. As you progress in your factoring skills, what seem to be difficult factoring problems will end up being easier problems because of your recognition of patterns. As you're working in your occupations, and you get more experience in your job, you're going to see what first began as difficult tasks to really ends up being routine or easy problems to deal with after all. So subconsciously, if you will, you get, you're using your factoring skills to your real life skills. So I'm Jimmy Chang and that's an example as to how math factoring is used in real life.